Danny and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through our January budget. I know that it is a no spend month but I still want to show you my new budget binder that I got uh, just before Christmas and also how I stuff our cash envelopes so that we are covered for all the different um, expenses, cash expenses that um, we need to pay for throughout the month. Um, I get paid fortnightly uh, so I actually budget fortnightly but I want to take you through the entire month. Um, and I'm hoping to do these videos every month so that I can stay on track because I need the accountability as well. Um, it was one of the things from 2021 that I wanted to be more accountable for. So I thought, why not bring you along for the ride, show you how I do it and yeah, really just make myself all accountable. And if you can learn something too, that's great. So I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you my new budget binder. Actually, I can show you here. So I got this. Um, budget binder. I've seen a lot of YouTubers use them. I got mine off Wish um, and it's a little binder. I keep mine in my wallet. Uh, it's now my new wallet actually. Um, and of course I had to use my label maker and actually label it. And then inside um, I've actually put my loyalty cards. I only really use flybys and the Woolworths Everyday Rewards. And then you have each of these pockets that uh, you can put a label like I've done. Um, and put your money into. So I'm going to turn around and show you exactly all of the wallets that I have and then we're going to get into the January budget. Okay, so I have a few different categories that I use. So I've got food, petrol, household. Uh, so household is really things like cleaning products or any little things for the house that aren't food. Um, I take out of that budget. I have Spike and Lily, so that's Spike and Lily's food, uh, cat litter, anything that I need for them. Uh, I have entertainment, clothes and beauty, gifts, and you'll see that these ones are still stuffed because it just accumulates if I don't use anything in there. And then, of course, my Christmas budget. So this just accumulates until the end of the year, and then when it's Christmas time, I can go ahead and take uh, money for gifts out of this. Um, I then have gift cards, so a few people got me gift cards for Christmas, so I put them in there, so if I'm out and I find something that I want to buy and I have a gift card for it, I can go ahead and use the gift card instead of um, using my own cash. Um, and it also means that I remember that I have the gift card, because sometimes if, if you leave it at home it's really easy to forget that you've got a gift card. And even though now they expire here in Australia at least after three years, um, you can still forget, so I always keep them in my gift cards um, to make sure that I know that they're there. Perfect, so I have written down, now I keep all of this electronically, um, but I have written down, so January is a three pay month for me, so I get paid on the 3rd of January, the 17th and the 31st. And then I have the breakup, so I have uh, our mortgage, I have utility and other bills. So what I do with my bills is I take all of the bills and most of my bills, actually all of my bills come to me via email and then I did take that money and pay those bills out of uh, a bills and utility account. So I just put in 495 every pay um, and that covers all of my annual bills. What I did, and I think I have another video on the channel as to how I actually do this, but I take the bill, uh, I break it down based on how many number of pays in that cycle. So I get paid fortnightly, so if it's a monthly bill, then there's two pays in that cycle, and I put the average amount away into that bills and utilities account. Same for a quarterly bill, so what's that? That's six or seven pays, uh, and then annual bills are going to be 26 pays. So from every, uh, Every pay that I have, $495 goes into that bills and utilities account and that pays for all of our bills. I have a few sinking funds, but they're all um, fully funded at the moment, so I'm not putting anything into there. Um, I will start putting stuff into there, obviously, if I use anything from those sinking funds. Um, and then I have our fortnightly living, which is $300. Um, and I have lived off way less than that before in the past, so $300 is more than enough. Um, with that, I then come into stuffing the cash envelopes. So in food, we have $120. I have a really good stockpile of food, so $120 is more than enough. I really uh, try and find bargains on food. Uh, 
using that $120 and also I will meal plan and then fill in. Um, so I don't do like a full shop every week, I just fill in with what I don't have or what I need to buy more of. Um, so that's usually more than enough. I then have household. Household is really only $20. I have again a good stockpile of uh, cleaning products and laundry detergents and things like that. So $20 sometimes I don't end up using. I then have $50 for petrol. Now because I'm working from home, um, $50 is a lot. Uh, but if we do decide to do something, it's in our petrol fund. Then we have Spike and Lily, so we've got $30 for their food and litter. Um, they actually have their own sinking fund uh, for any kind of medical expenses or um, vet bills or anything like that. So the $30 is really just to cover them for uh, food and litter um, and any treats or toys that we want to buy them. Then I have clothes and beauty. Now I'm not really much into spending anything on uh, clothes and and beauty products and things like that. I have a pretty good stash. Um, I get a lot of my clothes as hand-me-downs. Um, so really $20, barely use it. Um, and that just accumulates as well. Uh, then I have Christmas, so I put $15 into the Christmas fund, $15 into the gifts fund, and just allow those to accumulate, and then $30 in entertainment. So that allows us to have um, some little treats throughout the week. Although we don't actually go out that much and we don't eat out that much. I tend to cook at home and I like cooking at home. Um, so that $30 accumulates as well. Now I'm starting from, apart from the Christmas and the gifts fund, I am starting from absolute scratch here um, for January. If I don't use what's in here by the end of the month, then I will put it into my big money box of savings so that that can um, accumulate over the year. So now that I have done that, I have all of my moolah over here and we're just gonna go ahead and use our um, cash stuffing for me to go ahead and put that money in there. So I've got $120 for food. So I'm going to take a 50, two 20s, 10, so that makes 100 and then another 20. That's right, isn't it? Yep. So I've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. And good on, good on you, Danny. Just close it up. So that's 120 for food. Now that shouldn't actually get touched, hopefully, because we're on a snow spend month and we're eating out of our pantry and freezer because we need to get rid of some food. So hopefully I'll have still $120 in there after the end of the month, well, at the end of the month. Actually, I should have more than 120 because it's a three pay month. So I should have about 360. Um, then we have uh, petrol, so I'm just going to put a 50 inside the petrol because that's straight 50. And $50 fills my petrol tank completely. Um, then we have household, so we've got $20 there. I'm actually going to do two tens for this one. We have Spike and Lily, so what are they getting? They're getting 30. Entertainment, we're going to get $30 as well, so let's do... Let's do three tens. Then we have clothes and beauty, so I will put in 20 in there. And then I'm going to put 15 in Christmas and gifts.
So while I was stashing, stashing these cash envelopes, I actually remembered I have a gift card that our local uh, council gave us to try and help out small business after the pandemic happened and get us to continue to buy locally. Um, so they gave us $30 for us to be able to spend at participating businesses. And this is gonna be really helpful this month because it's a no spend month and I won't be taking out of the entertainment budget because Really, it's not in the rules, well, it's not in my rules of a no spend month, but since we have a discount, a, let me start that again. Since we have a uh, voucher, that can help us eat out and have some entertainment and have a little bit of fun in this no spend month. So um, I'm gonna put that inside my uh, gift cards as well. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and going through our January budget. Um, let me know in the comments how you budget. Do you have cash envelopes? Do you use cash envelopes? Do you have a budget binder? Um, do you budget electronically? Do you budget using a notepad? Let me know what you do. I'm really interested to hear more tips and tricks about how everyone out there budgets um, and makes life hopefully easier for themselves. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to join the Dine at Frugal community where I try and post um, every week uh, budget-friendly, quick, easy, budget-friendly recipes. Um, budget friendly tips and tricks and thank you so much um thank you so much for watching this video till the end and i hope to see you next time for my next video bye